at the gates of the police barracks on the outskirts of Bastia. Corsican nationalists gather. We are a people, this man shouts. We have a history. They throw insults to the police, to the French state they so desperately want to break away from. Freedom, he shouts, but not in French, in Corsican. The police respond. A rain of tear gas canisters descends on a crowd gasping for air. In the fog, an act of defiance. A Corsican pulls a guitar. They sing, unfazed by the tear gas burning their lungs and the explosions meant to scare them. The death of Corsican nationalist Yvan Colonna, murdered in a French prison by a fellow inmate, has shocked the people of this island. They hold the French state accountable for his death. Then a video on social media appeared of the police inside these barracks, singing the French national anthem as Colonna was laid to ground. For many here, this was not just an act of provocation, but an insult. There's a desire among young people to express their Corsican identity. There needs to be a dialogue at the highest level to end 50 years of conflict and avoid a new cycle of violence that would be painful for everybody. This small Mediterranean island feels far away from Paris. They want greater control over their island, whether it be the economy, the education, the language that people use. This is what is at stake, and this is happening just weeks before the presidential elections. Candidates from the right to the left, including the president, have shied away from visiting the island or speaking out on the events unfolding in Corsica. This is a political problem that can only be resolved through politics. We dropped our weapons in 2014, but we feel like despite our good intentions, the state has shut its doors on our demand. And yet the interior minister says he's open to talk about a special status that would be granted to the island, something that can be discussed after the elections. In the meantime, the nationalists are making themselves heard, ensuring that this time they will not be ignored. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bastia, Corsica.